Hi guys, my name is Jennifer Brockstroman and I'm a registered dietitian and sports nutritionist at Nutrition RX. I thought I'd take some time today just to talk to you about an idea that's been coming up a lot in my client counseling sessions. Um, when things get busy, things get stressed, and you just feel like you're spread a little bit too thin and you have too many competing priorities at once. So most of the time, when people have a plan in their head of how they hope to act, and yet the day-to-day -day doesn't actually translate into what you hope things will be, it's because we lose lack of clarity. And I wanna focus on clarity of two main areas. Clarity of your values, or the why is this really important to you? And then clarity of action, which is the what and the when. How are you going to actually take action that supports what you value overall in your life? So I'm gonna use a couple examples in the nutrition and fitness world. Um, healthy eating is obviously something that a lot of us care about. It makes us feel more energetic when we put great food in our body, we feel good in our skin, we feel you know, um, fit and comfortable, and for a lot of people this is a great way to ward off chronic disease and not have problems like diabetes or heart disease later on in the future. We know healthy eating is really important, and yet why do we go to takeout or not cutting up our vegetables or not packing a lunch or great snacks in the day? Well, it's because we forget how much we value what healthy eating does for us. So when you're really, really clear on what you value or the why behind it, then we can come up with the action plan of what do we need to do and when does that have to occur. So if I really value healthy eating, it becomes that much more critical that I you know, make a grocery list and shop on a regular basis, that I spend some time actually doing a little bit of food prep, or maybe it means that you actually have to outsource that if that's not physically possible in your current schedule. And so you still know the why, it's still important to you, but you're adjusting the what by asking for a little bit of help and by delegating. Um, switching over to physical fitness as an example. We all know that exercise is an important part of taking care of your body, yet it's difficult to sometimes actually find the time to fit a workout in. But if I remember that my why is that I feel strong, I feel fit, I feel empowered, I have more energy, I sleep better, my injuries don't bother me as much when I take good care of my body, then it becomes that much more easy to find the time and the motivation to schedule the workouts. Maybe to set my alarm that I can go to bed early enough and not have to struggle with waking up in the morning if I'm a morning exerciser. Maybe it's I actually have to go book that appointment and deal with an injury because my injury is preventing me from working out in the way that I want to. So the action plan becomes a lot more clear when you have clarity on, again, the why or what you value. And as a final way to think about it, our values are like our big rocks in our life. So these are the most important things that have to be there for us to feel like we're empowered, we're in control, um, and we're very content and happy with our lives. And where a lot of people feel stress and chaos and dissatisfaction and unhappiness is they feel like all these less important little rocks, which are the demands of other people, scheduling issues, you know, wasted time on social media, all these things that can kind of get in the way. What it feels like at the end of the day, if you haven't taken care of your big rocks, is they didn't make it into the jar. So for me to protect my most important things, my big rocks, they have to go in first. And by having really clear understanding of what you value, you can then make sure that your actions to support those values are scheduled and taken care of as the most important things. And the other things in life will find their way and will fit around between them. So I thought I'd leave you with that thought. And as your final takeaway, take a moment and write down maybe the top two to five things that you value, that are important for you to feel fit, healthy, um, happy, and in control in your life. And then from there, basically come up with a few actions that you could be doing that you're not doing at the moment that will better support um, alignment with your overall values. So again, this is Jennifer Brockstroman saying hi from Nutrition RX. And if you're looking for more information, we've got lots of resources on our website at nutritionrx.ca. Cheers.